Hi, welcome to Ruby's Classic Cooking. Today I'm making one of my jelly roll variations. I'm going to make strawberry shortcake. And you know those cute little cups that you can buy in the grocery store, six to a pack, and there's sponge cake in there, about six dollars or more. Um, well, instead of that, you can just make the jelly roll base as seen in my jelly roll video. And now you see that it's flat. I haven't had, I haven't rolled it up or done anything to it. I've just turned it out here flat. And you can either cut your jelly, you can either cut your shortbread um, bases, your shortbread cakes, either out of a four inch, 10 centimeter uh, biscuit, biscuit uh, cutter, or you can just use a knife and cut them into squares, which uh, doesn't waste any cake. So if you want to be fancy, you can cut nice round circles like this and make a couple of tiers, or you can just be a little bit more family oriented and cut them as just squares or rectangles, just like that. So that's it. And you can get two, four, six, eight, or you can make them smaller and uh, have, have smaller ones and get um, Get about 12 you can get 16 out of a batch if you cut them in rectangles you can easily get 16 and you can either put one of these in your store in, for your strawberry shortcake or if you really like the cake you can put in two so anyway i'm just going to do this rustic family style cut and cut up here and there we have my cake this takes me about a half an hour, less than half an hour to go from, gee, I'd like to make sh strawberry shortcake to, ta-da, here on the pan already to, already to use. So anyway, I'm just gonna take my bowl. You know how to assemble a strawberry shortcake, right? Just take your strawberry, you just take your bowl, put your thing in, take some strawberries, which I haven't cut up yet. Cut up some nice ripe strawberries and put them on top and you know about the whipped cream on top right <laughs> one of my favorite parts of these kind of desserts is all the whipped cream on top of their strawberry shortcake now if you were feeling like oh i don't feel like having whipped cream you could always do strawberry ice cream or vanilla ice cream on top which is also good it does tend to soak into the cake as the as it melts a little more than the then the whipped cream, you just put some strawberries on top. You can mash them with some sugar if you like them done that way. I like to just cut them up in pieces. My husband prefers to take a potato mash or mash them up or a fork and mash them up. And then you make some nice mashed strawberries, which has juice that soaks into your, some people prefer biscuits, but this is a great way, as far as I'm concerned, to have the jelly roll base. You can also use biscuits. In fact, in a future video, I'm going to be doing biscuits, so I'll show you how you can do them with biscuits. And if I'm cutting biscuits, I usually don't use one quite this big because I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on the cake. I like to have the strawberries and the whipped cream. The cake is sort of an addition. <laughs> so if I was doing it, I'd only put one piece of cake, but a lot of people like to put two. So you can just top it with another piece of cake and just cut up some more strawberries here and put them on top or mash them if that's what you prefer. And very quickly and easily, you've got some lovely strawberry shortcake for dessert. And friends, family, <clears throat> friends, family, if you're doing a dinner party or you're catering something and you need a dessert this time of the year, because it's the end of May right now, but it'll soon be June, which is strawberry season. And then we'll be into July, which is kind of past strawberry season but anyway all through the month of June and there we go I just cut up two or three nice big strawberries and there we go a lovely bowl of strawberries and I haven't whipped my whipping cream yet so I'll do that later and I'll add that on and take some pictures of the finished product after I have my whipping cream all done anyway so I'm going to go away for a while and I'll come back again when I whip my whipping cream Hello, and here I am back again to add the whipped cream to my strawberry shortcake. Yum! Here it is, all in the bowl, the strawberries and the, the sponge cake. 
and here's my whipped cream which all you have to do is watch my YouTube video on how to whip cream and then I'm just going to put a nice big blob of whipped cream on top of that. Doesn't that look delicious? If you want to get fancy, you can put a section of berry on top of that, just like that. There you go. Ta-da! Strawberry shortcake. Fit for friends, family, royalty. <laughs> In my humble opinion. Anyway. Enjoy. I hope you try this recipe. I hope you subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And I hope you come back again to watch me the next time on Ruby's Classic Cooking and see what I'm preparing next time in my kitchen. Bye for now.